Hello and welcome to another Anything World tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the auto rigging service to take static models like the zombie on the right and rig it automatically and apply animations like the idle, walking, running and jumping animations. So let's get started. For this video, we'll be using this zombie model that is available for free in the asset store. To start, I'm going to go to my auto rigging service page, click on upload your model then browse your files. I'm going to select my zombie FPX and click on continue. Then I'm going to give a name for my model. I call it zombie rigged and the model type is a human. Don't worry if you can't see your texture in the model. That's fine. I'm going to click on continue and then I'm going to check what is my model's category. It is in my case, a biped, a human and humanoid. And as you can see, we are going to have several other categories coming soon all over the main categories. So in my case, I have a biped, human and humanoid, and then I'm going to click on continue. The next screen, you can check the rotation of your model and see that's fine. In our case, it's totally fine. And then I'm going to check that my model is symmetrical and click continue again. And now our agent will start rigging your model. Once the rigging is done, you can check out the rigging that was created for your model. And you can zoom in, zoom out, rotate the camera around. And you can, you can also tweak this rigging if you want. And by default, you have mirror selection uh, enabled. So if I click on one of the shoulders, the other shoulder is automatically select and you can move it around. I'm going to keep the rigging as it is. So we can see the result that the agent generates for you without any human uh, interaction. Now I'm going to click on view animations and the agent's going to generate the animations for you. And there you have it. You have your model rigged and animated. And in this page, you can review the animations and the skeleton that was generated. So this is the walking animation and the idle animation. And you can see that the hands moves lightly. We have the running animation, the jumping animation and the jumping animation. You have split into jump start, jump end, and the jump fall. And then I can click on the download on animations button and I can download specific animations if I want. And I can download it in a variety of formats or I can simply download everything. And the file is downloaded to my computer to be used in our Unity project. Now back into Unity, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the zip file that I've downloaded from my auto rigging service page. I'm going to unzip it and I'm going to import it into my Unity project. In the project, I already have this folder zombie original, which contains the asset store package I have imported into my project and I use to upload the FBX to the auto rigging service. But what interests me is into this zombie rigged folder. And within it, I have different folders with different animations for idle, jump, the jump start, and then fall, run and walk, all the animations we've seen in the auto rigging service. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a quick demo uh, with one model in the scene uh, rotating between each one of the animations. I'm going to start by opening up my idle folder. I'm going to get my idle FBX model and I'm going to import it into my scene. There you go. Uh, I'm going to change its scale, make it a little smaller, uh, position it on 000, and I believe, there you go, we can see it on our game scene. Let's just split his here so we can see both at the same time. I'm going to 
move my camera to the front of my zombie, rotate it, and now I can see my zombie, and as you can see, there's no material applied to it, so I'm gonna go back to my zombie original folder, materials, take the zombie material and apply it to my zombie. There you go. I'm gonna rotate the light a little bit so we can have a well light zombie. There you go. Very nice. Great. So now I have this model here. I'm gonna go back to my idle folder. I'm gonna get my idle FPX. And I'm gonna to go to the to the rig and change it from generic to humanoid. I'm gonna ask the avatar to be created from this model, click apply. And if I click on configure, I can see that all the bones that were created by the auto rigging service, they're here and they are properly configured by Unity. Great. So now I have my idle model that is using a humanoid avatar. I'm gonna go back to my zombie idle game object. Let's rename it to zombie game object and it already has an animator component because I've created the avatar and now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna back to my zombie rig main folder and I'm gonna create a animation controller here it is great animation controller there I go I'm gonna call it zombie controller let's open it up and the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add my idle animation to it. Here it is. It is the default animation. Now, if I go back to my game object and I set the controller to my zombie controller and I press, press play, then I'll have my zombie with the idle animation, which again is very, very slight. Uh, if we zoom in here on the hand, we'll be able to see it. Oh, I forgot one detail is that let me stop the game go back to my idle animation and I'm gonna set it to loop otherwise when it's over the zombie is going to be static again let's try again see if now it works there you go now you have the idle animation applied so let's do the same for the other animations I'm gonna go to the walk FPX gonna change the rig to humanoid and I'm gonna copy the avatar from the IDO avatar. Click apply and I'm gonna do the same for running and jumping. There you go. Once that's done I'm gonna go back to my animator controller and I'm gonna put my walking animation in it and my running animation and finally my jumping animation and I'm going to create transitions among them then I'll create a integer called status which by default is going to be zero. And as, the, as I said, as I press the space bar, I want to cycle between these animations to see them all in action on my zombie. So I'm going to select this first transition here, remove exit time, and I'm going to move to that when the status equals one. And on this one, when status equals two, and on this one, when status equals three and back to idle when status equals zero. Fantastic. Another thing that we need to do now is set all the animations to loop. So I'm gonna go back to the walking animation, edit, loop time, apply. I'm gonna do the same for all the other animations. Now, I also have here a script called Animation Switcher, which is a very basic script that simply, when I press spacebar, it cycles through the status value between 0, 1, 2, and 3. And if I press S, I can set my animation to slow motion, 
so I can see details in the animation. I've already set the script to the game object, configured the animator controller, and now if I press play, and I have my zombie on the idle animation, if I press spacebar, it goes to walking, and spacebar again goes to running, and spacebar again, I have the jumping animation. So there you go. So very easily, I took my static model, passed it through our AI agent on the auto rigging service page, downloaded it, set it into Unity, and I already have a static 3D model that are now animated with idle, walking, running, and jumping animations. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us on Discord, and we'll be glad to help you. Thank you, and I see you on the next video.